Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Achieve Gaming, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Xbox One release date, and the specifications that have been uh, said to be in the Xbox One, and uh, the price that is going to be given for the Xbox One. Um, so the other day I did a video on the PS4 and its specifications, its release date, and I will leave that in the description below and probably a little tag up in the top left hand corner. But um, before further ado, let's get into the release date of the Xbox One. So, uh, it's been confirmed to be released on November 22nd in 13 countries. So, that includes the US, Europe, Oceania, and the rest of the world in 2014. So, um, just a little note, the PS4 is going to be out on November 15th. So, uh, that means that the PS4 will be out around 7 days more. So, that's kind of going to be a big picture in the world of consoles, I think. Um... I don't know why Xbox didn't push it in front of um, PS4, that might have been a smart option, but you know, um, it's going to be uh, out before the other countries, because in the other countries around the world it comes out November 29th, and in all the other countries it's going to come out on the 22nd for Xbox, so PS4 is on November 29th for the other countries outside the US, but Xbox One is going to be November 22nd outside the US. So all the all Xbox One's going to be all released on November 22. So that means in other countries it might be more successful. Let's try and get your head around that. Um, and the price for the new Xbox One is going to be $500, which is $100 more than the PS4 in US dollars. Uh, in Australia it's going to be $599, $50 more than the PS4. So prices are up more and yeah, I don't know could play a big part in the console wars, I suppose. Um, and that's pretty much it on the specifications and the... No, so the specifications, but the price and the release date. So, now to the specifications, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, the Xbox One is going to have 8GB of DDR3 RAM. Um, and that's not DDR5 like the PS4, but it's still going to be really good RAM. Everyone uses it in their PCs. But uh, it's also going to have 32 megabytes of embedded SRAM. So that means it's going to feed directly to the GPU. So it's going to be helpful for the GPU. Um, while we're on the GPU note, uh, the GPU is um, unknown at the moment, but is likely to may be made by um, AMD. So yeah. Um, and the processor for the AMD uh, is going to be an AMD, sorry. And it's going to be 8 core, and it's going to feature a new frequency that um, they've just released uh, at 1.75. So it's going to be decent. It's not going to be the best, but AMD does make all right CPUs and GPUs. So yeah, uh, pretty similar to the PS4 as well. So it's going to have a 500 gigabyte internal hard disk, uh, a Blu-ray drive, which is going to be a big part. Uh, that's one thing the Xbox 360 did lack was having a um, having a Blu-ray drive where the PS4 did. And um, it's going to have USB 3.0, HDMI, and Kinect. Um, probably the big picture that everyone's asking me is, are you going to buy the Xbox One? And the, probably the answer is probably uh, not the moment. I'm going to wait to see reviews. Same as the PS4, I'm not going to go out and buy one. As you know, I am a PC gamer, but I will wait. If, if the Xbox One's great, you know, I will fork out the money and buy one. But, yeah, I'm just going to wait and see. Um, and that's probably the, my best advice to you guys is check out it before, you, before it actually comes out. Um, and see what it's like, and see what the games are like, and yeah, go from there. So that's pretty much it from this video. Make sure you go check out that PS4 video. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing future updates when, yeah, I find out more information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Achieve Gaming out.